Hello, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle. Yesterday I illustrated the historical simulation approach to estimating value at risk. Today I'd like to show you an enhancement on that called the hybrid approach. It's called a hybrid because it's a hybrid between historical simulation and parametric VAR. First recall that the example I'm using is Google's daily price returns. I pulled Google's stock price for the last 100 days, calculated the daily periodic return, and it just so happened to be by coincidence that my most recent data point, that's last Friday, happens to be the largest loss in that 100 day window. So last Friday, Google's stock dropped by 10.3%. And then we saw in the simple historical simulation that it really is simple because all I did here in green is take that 100 day historical sample of daily returns and sort them from worst to best. So here's my worst return last Friday, negative 10.3%. The second worst among that sample was a loss of 5.1, the third worst, the fourth worst, and here was the fifth worst, a loss of 4.1%. It happened 16 days ago, and that is, if the data set is 100, the fifth percentile is right here. So 5% is my significance, and then I can say with 95% confidence, my value at risk is that 4.1%. So I say with 95% confidence, I don't expect the loss to exceed that 4.1% because that 4.1% was the fifth percentile, at least for this sample. So that's the simple historical simulation. Let's compare it to the hybrid approach. And in order to do that, we'll note something about my simple sort here. It really didn't care about the recency of the loss. It treated last Friday's loss, which was only one day ago, with the same exact weight of this loss here, which was fully 87 days ago and approaching the outside of my window. And so the historical simulation implicitly gives equal weight to each of their returns. In this case, I have 100 days to keep my, sam my example simple. That means my implicit weight to each of these returns is 1 divided by 100, or 1%. So here's the cumulative weight under the historical simulation. 1% to the... Uh, this la this loss here, another 1% to this loss here, so cumulatively I'm at 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's my 5% cumulative weight under the simple, and that's why this 4.1% loss is my 95% VAR under the simple historical simulation. Now the hybrid approach is arguably an improvement on that because it's going to give greater weight to more recent returns. And specifically, in this case, we'll use the exponentially weighted moving average. If I just go over here to this column off to the right, just to illustrate, here, under a 97% lambda, so I just selected that weight, and I did that because it's common risk metrics uses that. I could plug in another weight. And under that 97% lambda, then, 1 minus 97% or 3% is the weight I'm going to give to my most recent return. In this case, that's this loss. And then if I go back one more trading day, I'm going to multiply the 3 by 97% and I'm going to get 2.9%. So I'm going to apply to my return that was two days ago a weight of 2.9% and then three days ago, 2.8%. See the difference? Under my simple historical with 100 returns, every periodic return gets a 1% weight. Over here, at least with a high lambda like this, the last, the most recent return gets a weight of 3% or three times the 1%, and then it's going to decline. By the, and I won't go down to the end, but by the time I get to the end, the weight's going to be less than 1%. And so the key difference here is now I'm giving greater weight to more recent returns. So here where my cumulative under the simple is just 
is just adding one in nice clean linear fashion here's my hybrid weight well for my last trading day of Friday one day ago I fully get a three percent weight now so here's the part to really focus on now I'm gonna go back two day now I'm gonna go back to the second worst return that was negative five point one percent notice it was forty one days ago the weight forty one days ago under this exponentially declining weight happens to be 0.9 percent see how it's 41 days ago so it's getting less weight and a lot less weight than the negative 10 percent loss which was only last Friday and then I go to my third worst loss which is negative 4.7 percent that was 27 days ago it gets a weight of 1.4 percent so you see the last return gets a very large weight of 3% then the return that was 41 days ago gets a smaller weight then the return those 27 days ago gets a larger sort of an in the middle weight but it's 1.4% it's certainly larger than it would have gotten under simple historical simulation so that's the key idea right there we're we're still sorting these returns from worst to best but we're assigning the weight or significance to them based on their distance from today their recency and under this scenario anyway notice when I add these weights up cumulatively here I'm at three percent then three point nine and by the time I add my third worst return here's the third worst return four point seven under the regular historical simulation I wasn't really even close to my fifth percentile or my VAR but based on this weighting scheme now and largely because I had such a loss most recently I'm now cumulatively at the five percent significance with only my third loss and so now under this hybrid approach roughly I'm ignoring the interpolation I'm gonna say my 95 percent VAR is now a 4.7 a loss of 4.7 so you can see it's worse or even less than my 4.1 percent and that's largely again because I had such a steep decline in my most recent data point so that gave a lot of weight to it but you can see that's the difference here's the here's the VAR level at uh, hybrid approach versus the VAR level for a 95 percent significance at the historical simulation approach so at least conceptually that's the overview of the hybrid approach to historical simulation as an estimate to value at risk this is david harper of the bionic turtle thanks for your time